<laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the fifth installment of Between Two Pancakes with your boy, C Money. This week is going to be a little bit different, not only because it is the debut of the Running Man. Also, the first day that I have worn denim in my apartment since retirement, so huge step for me. I'm a big boy now, and that's only because right now all of my sweatpants are in the washer. What else? Oh, this weekend, took a little trip to Bandera, Texas. Correction, to Camp Eagle, Texas, to run the Bandera 100K. I came away with this mystical Sotol Cactus Trophy. I finished second overall, which means I have officially punched my golden ticket to Western States, which is very, 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 very good news. Stay tuned for the full report. The plan for the next four months was all about getting this golden ticket. I was signed up for this race, for Black Canyon, Lake Sonoma, as well as the Canyons, which are all golden ticket races, where if you finish in the top two, Top two, you are guaranteed an entry into Western States. I have that ticket now. Huge sigh of relief. I am going to be back at Western States this year. So that gives me a lot more flexibility in my training for the next couple of months. I no longer have to be tapered for all of these races. I do still plan to do all of them, but my build up to each race will be much different than I would have approached it if my top priority was finishing the top two. So at this point, we have January, February, March, April, May, most of June, almost six whole months until Western States, which is a lot of time. I do not want to begin Western States training this week. Rather, I wanna shift my attention for the next two months back to the roads for a couple of reasons. I wanna work on my speed. I really want marathon PR and it's still really cold and icy here in Boulder. The trails are not perfectly accessible. I don't want to force trail training when it's really not an option here. The roads, however, are very clear. I have already picked a race for the end of March, which we will save to announce at a later date. But the goal there, first and foremost, is to be competitive, try to win, but I'd also love the PR. My PR at the moment is 2.22.30. I'd love to make a pretty serious dent on that time. There is this little event called the Olympic Marathon Trials that happens every four years. And the top three from that race go on to the Olympics. I am very realistic that that is not a possibility. However, qualifying for that event may be in the cards. That will be very much a stretch goal that would require breaking 2.19 in the marathon, which equates to 5.8. 18 per mile, or rather quick. I know that every single time that I've had a personal best, it has been with the help of a coach, and one guy in particular got me in the fittest road racing shape of my life back in 2015. He happens to be one of my longest friends in terms of relationship, not in terms of body length. Although he is rather tall, he is a professional runner himself. He also does some coaching on the side. His name is Christo Landry. Hey guys, I'm Christo Landry. I'm a six-time national champion on the roads, the current 25K American record holder, and a four-time Team USA member. Christo Landry, still in front. Landry always looks like he's hurting. Landry not ready to be dropped. And there goes Landry. Landry is gone. And it's going to be Christo Landry who will be winning this 2014 USA 10K championships here. I'm about to give him a call. I'm going to ask to see if he would like to coach me for the next two months. Hold on tight while we figure out this technology thing. In the meantime, enjoy lovely runner man while we figure this out. <laughs> Oh, hey there. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? All right. I hope it's recording. Stop recording. Boom, it's recording. Hey. Yeah. Dude, what do you think of this t-shirt? It's your style. <laughs> I don't know if you saw, but I got second place this weekend. That means that I qualified for Western States. Show. My big question for you, I kind of want to run a fast marathon. Okay, so we've got two and a half months? Yep. Okay, Okay. so we will make do with what we have. I don't know where your current fitness level is. If you're already in the middle of training, then that's going to help, obviously. I'm in this level of fitness. The skinniness of your arm That's how you know how fit you are. I am like one inch away from being in, in race fitness. So, first question is, are you interested in taking on this challenge? I can help you with that, yes. 
Okay. Fantastic. How realistic do you think 219 is? For you? Yeah. I've got no clue what kind of shape you're in. I mean, you're, you haven't been working, so I would assume that means you've been doing more running. So you've got a bigger base, but you've been doing ultra stuff. So now we need to do faster stuff. We'll step into long tempos and fart licks to begin with, and then we'll move into some track stuff. So if you are doing a flat marathon, then we'll be looking for mainly flat stuff for the longer efforts. If we do mile repeats, we'll probably touch a track, but we're not going to do that to start until we get a little speed down and until your body gets more used to it. And I know what to expect. But if we're just doing marathon stuff, you're probably not going to get 400 repeats. If we do thousands, it'll be thousands with a minute rest. More like you're running a tempo broken down into say, hey, do 16 of these. When do you want to start? Nowish. And you want to start with a, have you been doing any workouts recently? Well, I ran 62 miles at 810 pace this weekend. <laughs> so this weekend, let's do a 30 minute brisk run. What would you expect yourself to be able to do for a 30 minute tempo run right now? Well, one, how do you feel about treadmills in general? I don't like doing stuff outside if it's like below 40. Okay, so you need to put up on your webcast that you're a big sissy, first of all. Then let's look for 520 pace, 520s for 30 minutes. Um, something that is a step back from tempo pace, but is not really pushing your legs, just loosening up your legs. Something where you're still getting your heart rate up, but it's just helping flush out your legs and get you used to moving again. I can do that. And then let's throw in a long run as well. We are going to have to start picking up the intensity on the non-workout days. For ultras, what I have heard, I'm not the expert here, you are, is that the lower intensity, longer duration, and the double long runs is very useful, correct? Well, if we're gonna try and be going for speed, I think we may have to take some of that out of the equation. We can keep in, say, a double long run, but the first one should be of higher intensity with the second one being okay, you did a higher intensity run the day before, you can do a lower intensity one, just hit the trail, something soft, get your climbing in. But we do need to have some higher intensity days out there. We can't just do everything at a slower pace. So we are going to change that, but we're not gonna change it all at once. We wanna give your body time to adapt. This is not an all out press towards running the marathon because your primary target is ultras and you've got them coming up but I think this is a good compromise that's gonna let you run a quality marathon. If there was somebody listening to this YouTube right now and they wanted to get better at marathoning, how would they find you online? If you're looking to find me as a coach, the best way to do it is go to ascentrunningcoaching.com. You have a choice between me or Kathy Newberry as your coach. She is something like a nine-time Team USA member, multiple times in cross-country, also was the top U.S. finisher or the second U.S. finisher at the World Championships in the marathon one year. And I also forgot to mention that I am the high school teammate of this famous runner. I'm going to give you one guess who he is. Uh, sweet. Okay, man. We'll see how this comes up and maybe I'll catch you before you go to Hawaii once you've kind of written some stuff down and maybe talk through the next two weeks and then I can use that for the other clips, but Where no pressure. It? Right there, I can see that whatever that thing is bouncing up and down in the back. You're no, 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 that's not a good angle.